it appears Canelo Alvarez has a dance partner, y'all. And it appears that it's official. May 4th, Cinco de Mayo weekend. And it's yet another uh, fighter that's leapfrogging David Benavidez for that golden ticket, that Canelo Alvarez fight. And a Jaime Munguia. Oh, wow. Mexican versus Mexican, baby. Let's talk about it. What up, YouTube? Big T.O. Heavy Bad Boxer TV, man. If you don't get your big goofy ass in here and hit the bag, hit that like button for your boy. That helps the channel. You know I appreciate that love. Shout out to gang. My bag hitters. You all know the count. Special thanks to my guy Tyree Celestine, D1's Boxing, Sean the Don. Can't forget my guy Troy Jack. Of course, my Aussie family, Mark Wynn, Sean New Church. Big shout out to Black Jesus. I see you, son of Apollo. I appreciate all the love and support. Now, Canelo Alvarez, it appears that it's official. According to Salvador Rodriguez of ESPN Knockout reports that Canelo versus Mungia is official today for May 4th in Las Vegas. Booyah. Now, listen, this is another fighter who is completely leapfrogging David Benavidez. And I thank for the David Benavidez fans and just the pure fans of boxing who have been calling for and clamoring for the David Benavidez Canelo fight or Canelo David Benavidez fight is extremely disappointing. When you look at the tighter eliminators, the fact that he's been the interim champ forever, it feels like now that David Benavidez yet again is getting leapfrogged by another fighter who isn't even as half of uh, deserving of a Canelo fight. As of course, David Benavidez. But hey, this is where we are now. And again, this is appears to be official. Now, you're talking about Jaime Munguil, whose most notable wins come against uh, uh, old Devranchenko, who, in my opinion, almost knocked him out. A uh, Gabe Rosado, uh, a John Ryder, somebody who already lost to Canelo Alvarez um, and got beat by two guys. Canelo knocked out. Um, that's a notable fight <laughs> for Jaime Munguia. Uh, uh, and it's just, it's crazy, man. But listen, popularity has a play as it's playing a big part in this. Now, for those of you who don't know the quick breakdown, Canelo Alvarez has this three fight deal with the PBC. They can't get it done with Jamal Charlo, whom is the low hanging fruit that Canelo Alvarez most definitely wanted to fight next. Al Heyman puts his foot down. Listen, sir. Canelo, sir, I can't give you $35 million to fight Jamal Charlo. Okay, Al, you hold on. Marches across the street to holler at Eddie Hearn. Sir, I can't give you. Will you not? Listen, come on. We want to make some money too, Canelo. All right, so he heads back to Al. Let's get this monkey a fight done, right? This is not who he wanted to fight, y'all. But this is who they can guarantee his money for. Make sure you understand that. Uh and I think it's going to be the same problem with that, that next fight, which hopefully it will be uh, Benavidez. Shout out to um, to W, I mean, not the WBC, but um, uh, to my man, Shana Don, who told me a long time ago that this is how this would play out. Um, and I, ca I had my inclination that it would as well. The WBC coming out saying they're going to force it come September. Um and then by the end, David Benavidez would have got his feet wet at 75, position, positioned himself to be the mandatory for undisputed there, and also the mandatory for undisputed at 68. Now, will he go to 75 and actually come back down? That's something completely different. But it does give Canelo Alvarez a slight advantage if he does want to shrink back down to 68 and give it a go at Canelo Alvarez for undisputed. Um, but again, um, Canelo Alvarez officially defending undisputed versus a Jaime Munguia, uh, 43 and no 34 knockouts. Um, it makes it interesting business wise back to the business because this is Mexican versus Mexican. And fun fact, Canelo hasn't fought a Mexican since May of 2017 against Julio Chavez Jr. 
said he wouldn't fight Mexicans. Why? Because he rep represent Mexico. But here we are when it comes down to the business. It's not that him, him and uh, 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 Jaime Munguia has any kind of bad blood. It's just coming down to Canelo wants his $35 million and Jaime Munguia is standing in the way of him getting that. That's who he needs to go through to get that $35 million. But is this a bigger, better fight than a Jamal Charlo? A lot of people probably would agree. Market, marketability or market. I can't even say the goddamn word right, y'all. You could market this fight a little bit better. Mexico versus Mexico. Canelo's first Mexican since 2017. It's Jaime Munguia. He's extremely young. Uh, I can't think of how old Munguia is right now, but I think I think Munguia is maybe, I can't got time to look it up. A lot of times I'm shooting from the hip on y'all. Uh, but I think Munguia is maybe 26, 27, maybe. You guys let me know what, how old he is in the comment section. This is going to be the youngest fighter he's fought in forever since a Caleb Plant, who was only two years younger than Canelo Alvarez. Fun fact, I keep telling y'all, since Canelo Alvarez has been on his contendership, on his world championship run, former and current world champions, the only one that was younger, uh, significantly younger than Canelo Alvarez, was uh, uh, Caleb Plant by two years. Everybody else the same age or older or dinosaurs. The legends he's beat, dinosaurs. So this is a different, um, this is Canelo stepping out his box a little bit, fighting somebody um, significantly younger uh, uh, in a Jaime Munguia, right? Um, so does this do better numbers than a Jamal Charlo? I think so. I think the projections from both sides, um, from Golden Boy and from uh, uh, Al Hamid and the PBC, that this fight does better than uh, it would if it was a Jamal Charlo. A lot of people felt like they have seen that fight already with the younger brother and Jamal Charlo, and they not giving uh, Jamal Charlo that much more of a chance versus Canelo Alvarez. That was subpar numbers for Jamal Charlo. They felt like they would get those same kind of numbers uh, for uh, 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 Jamal Charlo. All right. So they, they're already figuring that they can do better numbers and sell this fight in a different manner. If it's Mexican versus Mexican. Uh, and it's uh, of course uh, a Mexican fighter whom Canelo Alvarez say didn't want to fight anymore because he represents Mexico. Um, and, this a lot of Munguia fans feels like this could be the passing of the torch. But let me tell you this. I'm not giving Munguia much more of a chance of beating Canelo than a Jamal Charlo. Um, and I don't think it sells significantly more. But can it do enough to guarantee Canelo his $35 million and the promoters turn a profit? Probably so. But what's most disheartening, again, it's just another fighter who's leapfrogged David Benavidez, who, again, is waiting in the wind, in the winds and hoping that WBC can help him out, script Canelo, or f at least force him to fight David Benavidez in September. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section on this one. Official. Canelo Alvarez, Jaime Munguia, May 4th. Are you excited about that fight? If so, let me know in the comment section. That's all I got for y'all on this one. Big T O heavy bag. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.